We've projected Robinsdale's enrollments out to the year 2034. The goal of this video is to show you how. Here are the known enrollments for Robinsdale for the years 2014 to 2024. And here's what we think will happen. Now we'll outline how we did this. We really have two separate tasks, predicting kindergarten and predicting grades 1 through 12. We'll show you three ways to project kindergarten and four ways to project the higher grades. This gives a total of 12 combinations of assumptions to choose from. This graph starts with known kindergarten enrollments for 2014 to 2024. For the future, we have three options. Option 1 holds the 2024 enrollment constant for all later years. But maybe that's too simple, given recent decreases. Option 2 adjusts for births. This is how many babies were born in the district each year from 2014 to 2022. But since we're projecting kindergarten, we're more interested in five-year-olds. So we've moved the line five years to the right and trended it out to 2034. Uh, note that the number of kids exceeds the enrollment. Given charter schools, non-public schools, and open enrollment, this isn't so surprising. Now, if enrollments after 2024 change at the same rate as the population, we will get this. This is kindergarten option number two. Call it kindergarten with a full adjustment for births. Option three is simply the average of the first two options. Call this kindergarten with a partial adjustment for births. Now we'll switch from kindergarten to projecting grades 1 to 12. These projections are based on grade progression ratios, or GPRs. The GPR is the ratio of a given year's enrollment in a given grade to the prior year's enrollment in the prior grade. This graph shows Robinsdale's actual grade 1 GPRs for the last few years. To get GPRs for years after 2024, we consider four options. We can first simply use the 2024 GPR for all later years. Option two is to take the weighted average of the GPRs for 2024 and 2023 using weights of two and one. Option three is to take the weighted average for three years, 2024, 2023, and 2022. And then option four is to take the weighted average over four years. Note that option four is lower than the others. That's because it's partly based on 2021, down here, when enrollments drop because of COVID. Note that if we use a two-year weighted average grade progression ratio for grade one, we will also use it for grades two through 12. We've just explained three ways to project kindergarten and four ways to project grades 1 through 12, giving us a total of 3 times 4 equals 12 combinations. This table shows Robinsdale's projected 2034 K-12 enrollment under each of these combinations. The projections range from 10,016 at the high end to 7,798 at the low end. And here's a graph of every combination, with the middle options shown in red. Enrollment in 2024 is 10,321. This means that all 12 options show decreases, but some decreases are bigger than others. The middle options all deserve serious consideration. Let's call them the six finalists. 
Choosing from among these finalists isn't fully scientific. There's an element of what feels best. What feels best to us is to adjust kindergarten fully for births and to use grade progression ratios that are two-year weighted averages. Going back to our first graph, here's what we get. The final choice was based in part on the plausibility of the projections for all the years, not just the last year. Also, in Robbinsdale, there's nothing happening that we're aware of regarding housing, health, or economics that contradicts our chosen assumptions. And that's how we did it.